Welcome to another physio video. Let's detail the steps of glycolysis and discuss lactic acid fermentation. Remember the four main steps of cellular respiration. They are glycolysis, acetyl-CoA formation, the Krebs cycle, and the electron transport chain. The focus of this video is on glycolysis, which is the first step of cellular respiration. The process of glycolysis takes one glucose molecule and breaks it down to ultimately produce two ATP, two NADH, and two pyruvate molecules. This is easy to remember because glycolysis literally means glyco, or sugar, like a glucose molecule, and lysis, or breakdown. This breakdown of sugar, or glucose, is a process that is accomplished in 10 steps. However, here we simplify the process of glycolysis into four major steps. First, input of ATP. Second, sugar cleavage. Third, NADH production. And fourth, ATP and pyruvate production. It is important to note that the entire process of glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm of the cell. This is unlike the other steps of metabolism, which take place in different areas of the mitochondria. It is also important to keep in mind that glycolysis is an anaerobic process, meaning that it can occur without the presence of oxygen. So glycolysis begins with a six carbon glucose molecule in the cytoplasm of a cell. For the first step, input of ATP, two ATP molecules will each lose a phosphate group that attaches to the six carbon glucose molecule. After the two ATP lose their phosphate group, they are left as ADP molecules, and a new molecule known as fructose 1,6-bisphosphate has been created. The fructose 1,6-bisphosphate is then cleaved by an enzyme to create two new molecules in the second step of glycolysis, which is sugar cleavage. This splits fructose 1,6-bisphosphate into the two new molecules, which are known as glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. In the third step, NADH production, each glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate molecule receives another phosphate group. As the phosphate group is added to each molecule, NAD plus gets reduced to NADH. The two new molecules formed are known as 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate. In the fourth and final step of glycolysis, ATP and pyruvate production, the two phosphates from each 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate molecule are removed and get donated onto ADP molecules, which turn back into ATP. This step also yields two 3-carbon pyruvate molecules. This image shows the overall process of glycolysis. The breakdown of one glucose molecule yields some important products, including two molecules of NADH, two net molecules of ATP, four total were produced in step four, but remember two ATP molecules were required for input in step one. So overall, this is a net production of two ATP. And finally, two pyruvate molecules were produced. So the flashing represents the products from the breakdown of one glucose molecule during glycolysis. Please remember these products. From here, the two pyruvate molecules can enter the mitochondria and continue with aerobic metabolism. However, if there is not enough oxygen available for aerobic metabolism to continue, the body has a way to continue glycolysis so that it can continue making ATP without oxygen. This process is called lactic acid fermentation. In the process of lactic acid fermentation, pyruvate is converted into lactic acid. Remember the NAD plus that got reduced to NADH during glycolysis. Through the process of lactic acid fermentation, this same NADH is recycled back into NAD plus so that glycolysis can use the NAD plus and continue. Can you see that the NAD plus 
is an essential starting molecule for step three of glycolysis. Now some questions to assess your understanding. Pause the video now and think of your answers. If you answered the following, then you are correct. If you're interested, here are the 10 more detailed steps of glycolysis. Thanks for watching.